turn to the word of God, Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 27, New King James Version. So I will restore, say restore. So there's something that God wants to do in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. To you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust and the chewing locust. My great army which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. To recap the last two weeks of message, we see a, a little background on the scripture that the nation of Israel is in trouble. They are under constant intimidation by the enemy. Hallelujah. They experience terrible drought, hallelujah, a massive invasion of locust, tragedies, hallelujah, have left the land ruined, disease, sickness is filling the nation, hallelujah, the people are now demoralized and hopeless, Israel now is facing a huge problem, hallelujah, They're, number one, they face devastation, meaning the insect was ruining and invading the crops they were in famine number two they experienced destruction the enemies were surrounding them were powerful and were overpowering them number three they faced desolation a severe drought affected the land so their crops failed there were no rain number four they faced discipline whatever was happening the prophet Joel says it was the day of the Lord Everything, hallelujah, was allowed by the Lord because of the rebellion and their wickedness. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord was judging them for their wayward living. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. If you want restoration, you've got to align yourself. Hallelujah. To the will and way of God. Uh, thank God that the Holy Spirit will help you. Hallelujah. So you've got to be a stayer. You've got to attend church. You've got to fellowship. You got to read the word. You got to praise God. You got to fast. Hallelujah. So allow the supernatural to intervene in your natural. So the work, hallelujah, amen, will not be tough. Hallelujah. It will not be your own effort, but God through you will be working for your victory. Hallelujah. Joel chapter 1 verse 4, the Bible says, what the chewing locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the crawling locust has eaten. And what the crawling locust left, the consuming locust has eaten. And some of you are going through the same story. Your TV breaks down and you just get it repaired. Then your car breaks down. Your car breaks down, you just get it repaired. Then your children, something happened, you have to go spend a whole lot of money. So it's just happening and happening and happening and it's not ending. Hallelujah. Somewhere along the line, the devourer has entered your home and entered your health and entered your family. Hallelujah. And we have to cut that hand off in the mighty name of Jesus. And the word of God will give you instructions and the word of God, hallelujah, will give you steps on how to be an overcomer. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, don't miss church. It is exciting times because we are getting instruction from heaven. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Joel 2 verse 25, the Bible says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent. So these were all God's army sent. Hallelujah. God allowed these consuming locusts to go and invade the possession of the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes there are certain things allowed by God to come into your life and we blame the devil but nothing happens you can bind the devil bind the devil bind the devil you can come to me I pray I lay hand you get slayed down you wake up the problem is still waiting for you it's not about being slayed under the spirit hallelujah the only time I will honor the slay of the spirit is when you get up and your situation changes Hallelujah. Because sometimes the same person gets slayed under the spirit. Every time we pray, the person is slayed under the spirit. But the same person, if you watch them, nothing changes in their life. Nothing changes in the home. So is my God confused? 
Hallelujah. My God is a God of restoration. When the anointing of God hits you, something must change. Hallelujah. That is why I pray for people. I don't wait for you to fall. Hallelujah. I pray that God changes your heart, changes your situation. Hallelujah. Because some people just come, you pray, they fall down before you even pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So so we got it's not about when you fall that God has touched you. Hallelujah. God wants to touch your heart and he wants to restore everything that the devil has stolen. So there must be a transformation inside of you. The same people falling for the same every time you pray for five years. But when you go in the homes, it's ruined. Their lives are ruined. They're living lives. Hallelujah. Amen. That is so messed up. I believe when the Holy Spirit touches you and the anointing of God touches you, everything that does not belong to God must vamoose from your life. Hallelujah. There must be a restoration in your life. It's not about falling. It's not about jumping here. It's not about rolling. It's not about screaming. It's not about that. It's about the Holy Spirit. Let's get our theology right. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the book of Joel teaches us that God allows certain stuffs to come to us. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are so misdirected misinformed and misthought or wrongly thought that when you go to a church you go to ex- observe as a spectator if the pastor didn't pray and if you didn't fall the spirit was not moving hallelujah if somebody didn't emotionally cry out the spirit was not moving if the worship team suddenly didn't worship and start screaming, the spirit was not moving. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is inside of you. Hallelujah. Sometimes the Holy Spirit comes like a gentle dove. The Holy Spirit is God himself. And that God, hallelujah, which is the Holy Spirit is a God of order. Hallelujah. Amen. God can change you right there, right now by the word of God. There's something happening inside of you. Your whole situation, your whole circumstances can change. Hallelujah. It's not about feeling. Hallelujah. It's about your faith and knowing that God is there and what he said he will perform. It's about your relationship with Jesus. Don't be misdirected. By feelings. Hallelujah. It's not about feelings. Tell your neighbor, it's not about feelings. It's not about how you feel. Hallelujah. It's not about goosebumps. Hallelujah. It's not about the tingliness. It's about, I know that Jesus is here. I know that his word is true. I know that his promises shall come to pass. The just shall live by faith and not sight. Hallelujah. If God said it, let it be so. Today is my day of salvation. Today is my day of miracle. Today is my day of breakthrough. If God said it, I am going home delivered. When I go home, there's no demon waiting for me. That demon is tamed. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's your faith. The just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. And not by sight. If you are living by sight, the devil and his demons, hallelujah, will really deceive you. Because you'll be running after signs and wonders. You'll be running after prophets. And you'll never be stable. You'll never be somebody that is immovable. Abounding in the work of God. Growing in maturity. Planting roots. Hallelujah. And growing and walking in destiny. If you are living by sight and feelings. And by, the, by, 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 by running after signs and wonders. You will be destabilized every month and every six months. You'll be chopping, hopping churches and churches. Running after man, running after man rather than God. Divine restoration. Hallelujah. There are some principles. And number one in January is commitment. Commit to the Lord. Commit to your local church. Commit to your pastor. Commit to the leadership. Commit to the word. And let allow God to restore you. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. In Jesus name. So. Sometimes God. 
allows destruction to come hallelujah when he moves his hand away hallelujah these things happen not because god does not love you god speaks through circumstances hallelujah god instructs and he corrects he rebukes he disciplines so that you can be clutched out from the hands of the devourer and brought back into alignment where he has already planned your provision hallelujah and alignment hallelujah is not without pain hallelujah when you go to your wheel alignment place and if your 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 tire is facing this side and eating your tire up hallelujah if you leave your steering it it runs this way rather than straight meaning you are running on a different side hallelujah amen and you have to hold your tire steering straight hallelujah because if you leave it the 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 the, 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 the car is going to go somewhere else if you are misaligned hallelujah you are living a life of struggle and frustration because you'll try to hold hold yourself hallelujah so that you can be going straight but when you are aligned with god the work is not yours there's no labor no struggle you will be on the lane because the holy spirit will be empowering you that is why you have to come to the church for alignment and when you come to the church for alignment so you can walk in god's provision the word of god is not going to tap you is going to not going to pat you is not going to massage you when you go for alignment they have to open some bolts hallelujah loosen some bolts and they have to straighten the toe in your tire in your in your in your chassis hallelujah and try to make it straight and then they have to squeeze it tight again so you are aligned and that is how the word of god is it's going to loosen some stuffs in your life and it's going to tighten some stuffs in your life so the word of god is not going to pat you so you will align yourself and walk in destiny so if you come to church to come oh my baby my daughter my son my let me rub your shoulders but god is a god can rub your shoulders if you have allowed alignment if you committed your life to god every time you come to church you'll be blessed you'll be saying preach it apostle preach it apostle i want to hear go deeper because you allowed god to loosen your bolts and tighten your bolts and now you just want more of god you want more of his destiny you want more of his purpose you want more of his joy you want more of his blessing you want more and more and more so you get excited hallelujah you don't come and you just hold tight and you don't want those bolts to open you don't want to i rather go this way and this way and you miss where god wants to take you i prophesy none of you will go to the left none of you will go to the right you will go straight where your provision is in jesus name you can change god is just waiting for your decision hallelujah so the enemy moves in and brings destruction god just removes his hand god allows hallelujah they are tools in god's hands hallelujah amen so why does it happen god allows it so he can redirect your priorities and he, that you can go back on the drawing board and redo your agenda and put god on the top hallelujah psalms 24 says the fullness and you belong to god hallelujah the earth and its fullness belongs to god you think it was easy for me to make a commitment to god i'm telling you some of you are seated here majority of you are seated here will not have walked one day in my shoes hallelujah being homeless 31 years ago 
and 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 losing two brothers and then suddenly 28 years ago i gave my heart and turned 360 not 300 360 is wrong because 360 if i'm here and i'm doing something if i turn again i'll be back here and i'm doing the same thing <laughs> hallelujah amen so i i turned 180 hallelujah i turned Amen and I followed God somebody said I turn 360 degrees you come there and you start same place again hallelujah amen so it was not easy but I'm here to tell you that God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you he's a god of the heaven he's a god of the earth what he started he will bring it to completion hallelujah amen you got to say i can do all things to christ but i commit my life to jesus hallelujah even my friends come and hoot for me i say bye bye it's my time to church it's my time to sup with the lord hallelujah amen you will not put food on the table when i have no food hallelujah you are just after the good time but i want good time with the lord the bible says taste of the lord and see he is good 